All right, so to pour the oil in, set it here. These two things here, these are strap, uh, like floor joist, I-beam type things that I pulled out of a dumpster when I built this machine. A lot of the materials in here are scrap materials that I, that I repurposed um, and kept them out of the landfill for environmental purposes. There's a little table here. This will come into play later. We'll, we'll, we'll see more about this later. I'm standing on a, I'm not really this tall, I'm standing on a, a wood block here just to get up high enough so that I can pour this in. So we take the oil and dump it in. And we'll edit this. See if you can get in to see it pouring into the screen. Like get closer. There you go. Now, if you're using used oil, eventually you're going to get to some black stuff. You can keep pouring, but generally when I start seeing the black things come out and the dark, thick junk, then I stop. Then I stop. All right, the last of it will drain through the screen. And coming down, you can see we've probably got, oh, I don't know, a quarter of the 50 liters. There was probably, these are seven, 16, 17 liter buckets. Um, so we've probably got 15 liters of good oil out of there. So we'll continue pouring until we get up to our 50 liter mark. Then we'll transfer the 50 liters over to the heating tank and do another 50 liters. All right, one more batch here, one more bucket. All right, that's the first 50 liters. Now we'll pump that into the tank and do it again. All right, time to pump our oil into our heating tank. Now, all this is done using that Harbor Freight water pump down there, which works great. I've used this pump for 10 years and it works perfect. Uh, there's seven valves attached to this little area here. One valve here, which allows the oil to flow out of, the, out of our holding tank here. Um, one valve here, which allows the oil from the tank to get pumped up into the top of the, the hot water tank. A valve down here, which allows the oil to flow back out of the hot water tank. A valve here to take off the waste product later. We'll show that later, so that has to be closed. And a valve here to introduce chemicals, which we'll show later as well as part of the process. So you want this valve closed, because we're not dealing with that right now. This valve closed, because we don't want oil squirting out here. Um, uh, this valve here, which will send the finished fuel later over into our finishing tank, we want that cl closed here because we want that isolated. Uh, so we want to open this valve to allow flow, then we'll open this valve to allow flow, and you can see, we're going to see flow coming up this tank, up the, the hose into the tank as soon as we open this and allow the air to escape out the bottom. I've got a switch here to turn on the pump. There's also a valve on the top of the tank as a additional valves. So there's really eight valves involved. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> we'll close this valve a little bit just to limit the flow out of the tank which will then create a little more suction here to suck the oil out of here a little quicker.
into the inlet at the top of the tank. And some of it's flowing out. Flowing out here. Just close that a little bit more. Which will draw that oil out of the source barrel. Toward the end, you can hear some air bubbles now. Just tilt the tank forward a little bit to get the rest out. And the second batch of 50. A couple liters short. I'm out of oil. That's okay. That's 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 close enough. We'll make some adjustments on that later. Baby up, Good enough. So we've got our 100 liters in there. If we open up the bottom valve all the way, the top valve all the way, then there's free flow uh, through this tube. This tube acts as a sight glass effectively, so you can kind of see how much oil is in the machine. You see it's coming down as it just kind of evens out. There is a 100 liter marking on the tank where I've made this marking before after I've carefully measured 100 liters and the sight glass will eventually come down to here. That's the level in the tank, that's 100 liters and that's the batch of fuel that we're going to make starting with 100 liters of canola oil. So we've got it loaded. Next step will be starting the actual processing of the fuel. So join me in the next video for everything that happens in our processing tank. Thanks for watching. <laughs>